beautiful people and welcome back to love movies i am here today to talk about one of my all-time favorite movies this is by far one of my favorite romance drama movies it is insanely well crafted from its script from its dialogue from its acting from the way it's filmed from the way the plot line goes it is absolutely flawless to me. It's flawless to me. I have to say it's flawless to me. And that movie is Closer. 2004, directed by Mike Nichols. I would say this movie has gotten quite a bit of a cult following, I think. I think I've seen it around. I've seen clips of just Natalie Portman with her pink wig and stripper outfit tossed around, but this movie is so much more than Natalie Portman in a pink wig. As far as plotline goes, I don't want to give too, too much away because I myself went into this actually having no idea what to expect. If you want to spoil yourself in that sense, you can go ahead and research it. The, the plot line's there, it, it'll tell you, but I'm choosing not to because I want you to experience it fresh and anew, just like how I did. This is the best I can do. So it's about two couples intertwined with one another and the actions that certain people take, that take place, that affect both couples and how both couples and all people and the respective parties deal with it and their emotions. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, pat on the back for that one. The hugest thing that makes this movie unique and stand out for me against all other movies is the fact that it's very conversation driven and conversation heavy, which it could seem like it would be boring. It sounds like it could be boring, but it's not. You would think that just normal conversations and they're not, they're not normal conversations either. The conversations that take place in this movie are hard conversations to have. These are types of conversations that that you wouldn't think, you wouldn't dream to, to have. It's relatable in that way that even if you don't go through what the characters go through in this movie, you still relate to it because you know, you know how that would feel like. A lot of this has to do with the script and the way it was written. This was an extremely, extremely well-written script. Every conversation that is had in this movie feels real and authentic. Authentic. It feels like this is actually what people would say to each other and exactly how they would act when they're in these situations. It doesn't feel fabricated. It doesn't feel fake. It doesn't even feel like it is at times it doesn't even feel like you're watching a movie. It feels like like this is a real story that happened between these people. Also with the way the conversations flow, they flow also in a very authentic way. They flow in a way that, you know, how in some movies, let's say there's a scene where two people argue and they're just they're just arguing, right? It's an argument scene and they're just going at it. They're just going back and forth, yelling at each other, screaming at each other. Usually in these movies, they just show them from zero to a hundred so quick. <laughs> Whereas this movie, it would take an argument and have it so that it flows in different directions and it's not just yelling at each other. It's just, it's all different levels that it makes you, it makes you so captivated because you don't know where the conversation's going. Another part of the dialogue which makes it so real and raw and, <laughs> and chilling, it's almost, it's almost an uncomfortable realness to it because the lines that are said in this movie. A lot of people that they know this movie, they quote it because the lines are also so scarily real. You'll want to rewatch it and be like, oh my God, did, did they really just say that? Did they, ooh, did they just say that? Ooh, you feel it. It's interesting because the way this movie goes and what I didn't expect the first time going into it, there's actions that take place in this movie that affect each couple. And you would expect to see these actions taking place that they're talking about, but they don't. They don't show it. They just talk about it. They just talk about these actions that take place and you see the aftermath of how it affects both characters. And that is what makes this movie interesting and so different. We also have to talk about the second most important thing in this movie, which is the performances. And the performances given are nuts. These are insanely amazing performances from all of them, from all four actors. Everybody's on top of their A-game with their acting in this movie. Clive Owen actually surprised me because I don't think he looks like a conventionally attractive man, but 
he manages to be attractive in this movie. <laughs> He's also just a very real raw human. The lines speak for themselves, but the way he acted them out feels so real and and you really feel for the guy. You do. You you feel like this is this is exactly how a guy would react in certain situations that he's put in for sure. From all of them, from all of them, they were able to make the performance feel like these are real people. All of them have chemistry. You do feel like, again, like this, these are real couples because they, they do have chemistry. They have spark between them. You know, you feel the heat, you feel the tension between them. You feel the emotion. I also want to say with the movie's plot and again, with what they show and what they don't show, I love that we're just focused on these four characters. Literally this whole movie is these four characters. That is it, that is all you see. Usually there's filler things, you know what I mean? Usually you find in any movie, like romance movies, whatever movie, there's those scenes with those characters, like the best friend or, or mom or dad or something, especially with these romance movies that it's a subplot that you should be caring for but you don't really care for. There's none of that. It never feels like the movie dragged or like there was a waste of time. And when it ended, I actually, I was I was like, oh, it's it's done now. Oh my God, no, like I, I wanna see more. Each person is gonna take something away from this movie, probably different from another person. Everybody's gonna have their own perspective on things and and it's great. It's usually there's just one solid answer with movies. Usually it's just, yes, this is this is what it's trying to teach us. This is what I got from it. I got it. Whereas this movie, it really leaves it up to you what you take away from it, but it does leave you so much in there for you to think about when it comes to relationships. It really does. I absolutely adore this movie. This is one of my favorite movies. This is such a good movie. I really hope I did it justice with this review by explaining how amazing it is and, and why it's so amazing. I'm gonna give Closer an A+. I think it's underrated. I don't, I don't know. I don't really hear a lot of people that I know talking about it anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am the film freak.